Hello all, I'm um, on Twitch. I haven't been on Twitch for a while. And my content has switched up quite a bit since last time I was on Twitch. I pretty much, I enjoy video games, but I have no interest in trying to play a video game and talk at the same time. I'm um, very bad at it. I just kind of get engrossed in my game. So, uh, yeah, it's really hard to do that. I've been making videos teaching English and stuff. And that's been my focus. So, basically, I decided to live stream on Twitch and teach English. Most of my exercises are basically listening exercises. And I'm live streaming in the hopes that maybe I'll get a viewer or two to ask some questions and I can help explain a concept. If not, I will just slice up the video and what I'll do is just make a couple videos for my other channel where I have um, some subscribers that are following me to learn English. Sorry, I'm not used to this live streaming thing, so I'm probably going to mess up a little bit at first and hopefully I'll get the groove of it. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and thank you for watching. Alright, and the first video that I'm going to work on is about video games, which is appropriate being on Twitch. So the title is Video Games, and as you may or may not have noticed, in the background is a black and white screenshot of Skyrim, which is absolutely hands down my favorite video game of all time. And I hope this video will still help you master the English language. And let's see if you can even see that. Uh, one second. Yeah, it doesn't show up. So, sorry about that. I just had to see when I cover up the words on the screen if you could see my uh, Twitch chat or not. I'm just testing this out. So, uh, like the sentence says, I hope this video will still help you master the English language. I have decided to utilize my interest more in videos. Because previously what I was doing, in all honesty, is I was doing very drab content, like the very basic minimum. And trying to script everything out. But going forward, I decided I needed to mix it up a little bit because I don't want to be boring because it's harder for you to learn if my content's too dry. So hopefully my interest will coincide with yours. Hopefully it will make your journey to maximize your English feel to 100 more enjoyable. Hopefully it will make your journey to maximize your English skill to 100 more enjoyable. I love playing open world games. And as the picture earlier was of Skyrim, and so is this one, Skyrim is an open world game. And it's one of the most fun games I've ever found or experienced. It's dangerous to go alone, take this. And this is from the classic Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda was the first fantasy role-playing game I owned. You could explore the world without following a stiff linear storyline. And it's basically telling me that I have to go like this. And that storyline should be two words. I think that's probably a little bit wrong, but I'll go with it for now. That's why I suggest you use Grammarly or Spellcheck. Just to make sure stuff like that doesn't happen. Dragon Quest was called Dragon Warrior in America. I found it hilarious that the attack spell was simply called Hurt. It was an interesting game. It was a very interesting game. Um, you had sleep, you had hurt, you had hurt more, you had hurt all, and it just, it was humorous to us. 
they were simple. They weren't like fire and ice. It was just hurt. And I, I it kind of stuck with me throughout the years. I never owned the original Final Fantasy, but played it for hours at my neighbor's house. And Sega Fantasy Star. I don't know how many of you ever played that. But the original Fantasy Star, I purchased the first Fantasy Star game from a friend. Back when you could trade physical games. Before the internet, we went to our friends' houses to play video games. And now there's something I want to point out with this. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but with the word friends, if I move the little mark right there to before it, it would have been one friend's house. This is the appropriate way to do the possessive for multiple friends. And also, if I was doing it for just one friend, it would be house instead of houses, of course. Well, unless they happen to own more than one house, which none of my friends ever did. As a writer, I know my creativity came from video games and cartoons, not just books. I frequently discussed how to improve games with my friends. I planned a vacation for the release of Skyrim, since I loved Oblivion so much. Oblivion and Skyrim, like the classics before them, let players explore a new world at their own pace. Free choice fosters creativity, and games provide a great way to explore choices. Basically, as a writer, somebody who loves the English language, or language in general, just playing with it and experimenting. When you look at a video game, if you're just playing it, and you don't think, well, how could I improve it? Or what could I change? What would I like more? You don't really maximize the full potential of the experience. And it's just nice to kind of banter with your friends about possibilities. What makes a great story? What makes the game fun? And it does kind of drive creativity. At least that's in my view, or in my personal experience. I'm American. So I also played football with my neighbors. Despite the stereotype, which you'll hear a lot, that people who play video games don't do sports or go outside. I played sports. My son played sports and video games. It's quite common for my generation, which is Generation X, to have done both. And that's just kind of how we grew up. The generation before kind of just didn't understand, or media in general, that people do both. Because instead of being rambunctious when you're when it's raining outside and you can't do anything, which I live in a I live in Pennsylvania, so the weather's kind of horrible. So we played video games instead of wrecking our houses basically and just causing mischief. As a father, I played video games, football, and kickball with my kids. Also, it kind of breaks the stereotypical mold of you either play sports with your kids or you play video games. I don't think it's a, uh, either or choice. I think that like for your hand-eye coordination, a lot of it is beneficial to do a variety of things. It spreads interest, and it's just fun. I like it. Oh. So, I don't know if I have anybody even watching at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a second here. And because what I'm looking for is a break. I'm going to pause. And then I'm going to start the spot for another video. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to switch.
to my next topic. And hopefully, huh, that didn't quite work. So close that one. Let's save. There we go. Now it shows up. Otakus and fanatics. As my channel name says, I'm an otaku or nerd, geek. I wouldn't say I'm a fanatic. So I kind of misuse the otaku because I do really like, I like eating. <laughs> I like video games. I like music. I like politics, unfortunately. I like all sorts of things. But I wouldn't say that I'm a fanatic. I, I definitely like Christianity and Jesus. I'd say that's probably the closest thing that I'm fanatical about. Basically, what I want to do is just have a little discussion on what it is to be an otaku or a fanatic and whether that's a good thing or a bad thing and whether it helps our causes or not. Enjoying entertainment is great, but you should never allow yourself to become obsessed. Enjoying entertainment is great, but you should never allow yourself to become obsessed. Actual Christian biblical teachings tell believers to live by example. Actual Christian biblical teachings tell believers to live by example. A lot of people will tell you all sorts of things, but like it's one of like the tenets, like one of the basic things of Christianity. That we're supposed to be a light and the true example so that people will see us. In in I think this is just a great way to live, period. Because as an example, it's different than you're, than you're telling somebody like how to do things. You're showing them this is how I live, and maybe people will have interest in what you like. Or maybe they won't. Unfortunately, most Christians miss the message and become bad examples by being pushy or living as bad examples. Unfortunately, most Christians miss the message and become bad examples by being pushy or living as bad examples. Unfortunately, and it's not just Christians, it's just everybody who has interest, they, they really are excited about what they, they have such love for. But instead of spreading the love about it, they kind of ruin it. And they don't mean to ruin it, it's just... And sometimes how we present things makes all the importance. It's not just what we say, it's when we say it, and our actions kind of speak louder than words, basically. In recent years, it seems that we have countless passionate people that have reached unhealthy levels of obsession. In recent years, it seems that we have countless passionate people that have reached unhealthy levels of obsession. So, as far as the whole obsession thing goes, I think the internet kind of just amped it up a bunch. So, we, we reach more people, but therefore we think that our opinions matter more. And we share our opinions more. And then we get more defensive if people disagree with our opinions. Sometimes it's facts. And when it is facts, it's, it's annoying sometimes when people disagree with it. But when we're talking about shows or sports or something, a lot of that falls into opinions. So, anyway. Back to reading. Still nobody. Yay. At work, I had a young lady tell me all about The Lord of the Rings without noticing I had no interest in the conversation. I could have, I believe, since this is a title of a book, I should have probably underlined it. But, I just didn't bother, and I'm sorry about that. At work, I had a young lady tell me all about The Lord of the Rings without noticing I had no interest in the conversation. As fans, the best way to share our fandoms is by also respecting the taste of others. 
Too often, people argue and fight over tastes and preferences. I experience this on Twitter because I disagree with somebody's taste in anime. I wasn't... I just disagreed that it wasn't as good as they thought it was, and then just... I want to know and understand people's taste, since it will tell me whether I am likely to agree with their suggestions. I want to know and understand people's taste, since it will tell me whether I am likely to agree with their suggestions. If you are a fan of something, the biggest mistake you can make is demeaning others that don't share your opinion or have no knowledge of the subject. If you are a fan of something, the biggest mistake you can make is demeaning others that don't share your opinion or have no knowledge of the subject. I love anime, but I have other interests beyond watching anime and playing video games. I love anime, but I have other interests beyond watching anime and playing video games. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of bowling, but I would go bowling with friends. I'm not a big fan of bowling, but I would go bowling with friends. I'm not a big fan of bowling, but I would go bowling with friends. And basically, that's just a good attitude to have. Like, um... I don't have to love something to do it, especially with friends. And it helps broaden your interests and maybe get them to do stuff with you. But now, on the other hand, if your friends aren't willing to go along with you when it comes to your time to do your hobby, then they're probably not the best of friends. Likewise, I don't have the patience for waiting in line for roller coasters, so I turn down going to ones that I've already been to previously. Likewise, I don't have the patience for waiting in line for roller coasters, so I turn down going to ones that I've already been to previously. In America, it is more socially acceptable to be a fanatic or otaku about sports since it remains the dominant culture. In America, it is more socially acceptable to be a fanatic or otaku about sports since it remains the dominant culture. Personally, I would rather play soccer or football than watch it. Personally, I would rather play soccer or football than watch it. Unfortunately, the safest topic of conversation, food, has even become kind of polarized. Unfortunately, the safest topic of conversation, food, has even become kind of polarized. For the most part, you can have a conversation in person in America without causing a large disagreement. For the most part, you can have a conversation in person in America without causing a large disagreement. Most of the toxic divisions in America stay online. Yet, I highly recommend avoiding discussing politics at work. Most of the toxic divisions in America stay online. Yet, I highly recommend avoiding discussing politics at work. Thank you for visiting. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Feel free to ask any questions or suggest future topics in the comments. If you like Christian poetry, check out my other channel, Narrowgate vs. Scandalgate on YouTube and many other streaming platforms. You can find my Christian poetry or fantasy books at Amazon.com under LDDJ. My website is otakusforotakus.com. Have an incredible day. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he is not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. All right, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to check real quick to see if there's anybody else left, or at all. I don't know if there is or not. So I am live.
And I'm trying to see if there's... Ah, it's kind of funny seeing myself as before. I don't know if I have uh, any viewers to worry about it. Oh. No, uh, it doesn't seem like I do. Huh. Well, that kind of is not to be surprised. Not a big surprise to me. Um. Anyway, if anybody did happen to watch, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Have a good day.